crossing two oceans, three continents and 16 countries. And this bag is our relay button. Do it. Even so, they're only just in time for the handover in Kazakhstan to this week's double act, Julia Bradbury and Matt Baker. Now then, I've travelled all over the world on Blue Peter. Welcome, Matt. We're off. And look, a little rainbow, a little bit of magic. The adventurous Julia can rough it with the best of them. Together, they present country fun. Got Tim and her wonderful little gang of ducks. But will their ability to closely confine docks really help as they take on the most remote leg of all in Around the World in 80 Days? Quick, let's get the train! and Julia are on their way. And meeting Nick and Syra has already brought home just how tough the journey will be. It was, I, but when they arrived, I mean, Nick was a picture. <laughs> he walked out those stairs and he just went, hello. It was like, oh my goodness, it's all over. I think I can relax. he is. There's the back, just go. Yeah, he was just punch drunk, wasn't They've he? They've obviously had a, had a real... Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I wonder what would happen to us if we come across a border that we can't get across, that we can't get through, if we have to divert. Yeah. I'm sure we're going to come across tough things. No, you've, got to, you've actually just got to say, right, well, if something goes a little bit here, why? Yeah. You've got to use your brain to think, right, what do we do? To get you back on track. Already they're up against it as their first train is about to leave. Hooray! Oh, that's refreshing. <laughs> They're heading north through the outback of Kazakhstan, the largest landlocked country in the world, into Russia to join the historic Trans-Siberian Express. Then, south into Mongolia and east into China, where they hand the baton to newsreaders Bill Turnbull and Louise Minchin. In 14 days, Matt and Julia must cover 3,700 miles. That's five times the length of Britain. Здравствуйте. You what? Tickets. Oh, tickets. Yes. Hang on a second. Here we are. There's loads there. I don't know which. Okay. <laughs> here, here, hang on, hang on, hang on. Here, I've got something. But have a look at this. Do you want one of these? Chocolate? Спасибо. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why did you decide to take on this challenge? You know, from a personal point of view, unbelievable experiences that you'd never you would never come somewhere like this on holiday. So it's a wonderful opportunity. It's a real it's a... journey. It's a real, it's a real traveller's route, mm. isn't it? Mm. So you've got to be quite adventurous, I think, to take something like this on. I mean, we're always off on little mini expeditions, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, we're used to it. Island, I mean, you and so. I are used to running all across our own countryside. So it's lovely to, to come to somewhere like this and see a completely different landscape. With a huge journey ahead of them, and having sanitised their carriage, Ah, lovely. They open off the carpet bag of goodies. Oh, my word, it's jam packed. In the box of tricks. Well, that's going to come in handy, man. Oh, Joel's turned around for over next days. Do you know, before, honestly, before I came in, I actually thought that he was a real bloke. Who, Joel's Fern? He is. No, no, no. Phileas Fogg. Did you? And that he'd actually done it, and that we were in trace. Didn't you think it was a bag of crisps? Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, what's this? That must be the journal. The 80 Days Journal will soon be up for auction for children in need, with thoughts from all the travellers and words of wisdom from the daddy of all explorers, Michael Palin. You lucky travellers, remember that however awful it turns out to be, however many things go wrong, the journey you're about to undertake is something that will make you the envy of countless stay-at-homes. Oh, look at this, you get a little towel and everything. Oh, sorry. 
sorry. Settled in, they transform their carriage into a cosy little twin room. Can I have soft that, isn't it? What? Isn't that lovely? Oh, no. Don't, don't touch me with that hairy blanket. Oh, that's just a put oh. it. There you go, look. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice. And, of course, the, uh, the piece de resistance. The nice hairy oh, blanket! Yeah, yeah, get yeah. it on! I don't want the blanket on me! I don't want the blanket on me! Take it off, take it off! <laughs> hear you doing a little gentle hum last night. There was like a... What's that? Was that just was a, a little, little bit? But it was actually quite a content... <laughs> <laughs> it's 7am, the first stop, and a chance for a little bit of fresh air. <laughs> wow! Oh, with his barbecue. It's like this hive of activity, isn't it? <gasps> what a sight! It's lamb cooking on the uh, on the old barbie. It's just too early. If you can get yourself some breakfast and you can get yourself some vodka as well, that's what I call breakfast. I think he's checking the wheels. How are you doing? Giving it a check in the wheels. He's listening. It's like a little. It's like a. It's a it massive makes a... xylophone. Boom, dum, dum. Goodbye. The next stop on the line will give them more time to explore if they dare. During the Cold War, atomic bombs were tested at a top secret site near Semi, and it's still highly radioactive. So, we, we can stop there. Well, that, it does sound like a very intriguing place. Oh, I mean... It used to be a closed city. No one was allowed in. It's somehow linked to all of the nuclear testing and everything that went on mm. up until the 80s. So I really want to know what, what went on oh, there. It, Without a doubt, is it? I mean, is it all right? Do you think it's safe to go in there? We've had, you, had your children, haven't they? Probably lead pants. <laughs> One other problem with this bit of Kazakhstan: it's a rubbish place to play I Spy. There's nothing. I wonder if that's why the Kremlin decided it would be the perfect place to try out a few bombs. There's a road. Look at this. It's weird. It's like. It's a children's playground. It's a school, is it a school? Is it a school? Little climbing frames, a little merry-go-round there. Yeah. Hello. Hi, lads. How are you? Okay. Nice. Where are you from? Almaty. Almaty. What are you listening? What kind of... Ah! <laughs> naughty, naughty! <laughs> Hello. Hello. Is everybody all right in here? Yeah. You OK? Do you all speak English a little bit? Maybe? A little bit. <laughs> Hello, I'm Matt. Um, yeah, I'm Alona. Alona, very nice to meet you. Where are you headed? Where are you headed? I'm going to my home, to Semi. To Semi? That's where we're going. <laughs> it's a famous test site. As a, for the new... Right, OK, well, we're, we're going to go and discover all of this. Is it safe to go? Is it safe? <laughs> are you white in the dark? Yeah, are you radioactive, yeah. Six fingers. <laughs> <laughs> or your tail. <laughs> The testing site is a few miles outside Semi. It's not the most popular destination. The boss doesn't want to go there. We've got vehicle problems. Uh, oh, he's steaming. He's steaming. Oh, no. Here we go. <coughs> well, we're, uh, we are in the middle of nowhere. We're, we're trying to get to Polygon, which uh, means testing site in Russian. So I'm quite happy not to get to Polygon. We're in radioactive land. No, you can't definitely say that, but there's a possibility. You see, I'm not that happy about this whole bit of the trip. Julia hasn't eaten anything since we arrived in Semi. Hang on. She's going! In fear that whatever she puts in her mouth will be I really have massive. eaten. I have eaten. I just haven't eaten anything from here. here. Are you going to shower? Are you going to have a shower? No, I'm not showing. In my hair. Because <laughs> the hair follicles in your body forever. No, <laughs> I'm not. So I will wet wipe again all the way, and I am eating. I'm eating crisps, and I'm eating chocolate, and I'm eating everything that we've got with us. But I genuinely, I think it's just precautionary. I'm just being, I think, my mum would be proud. It's common yeah, sense. Oh, that's fair enough. Shall we leave you here, and I'll go and tell you all no, about it? No, 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 I want to come. I want to know what it's like. Of course I do. I mean, it is the most unlikely, bizarre yeah. tourist spot in the world. Some say the Cold War began here when the first atomic bomb was detonated in 1949. 
600 explosions later, the area was finally abandoned, just before the Soviet Union collapsed. The weirdest feeling to this place, because it was all built just for all of the scientists to come and test the whole place. It's like, it's like a ghost town now, because everybody's left. You can see all of the derelict buildings where people have just kind of up sticks and gone. It's like, uh, it's just like dead, isn't it? it Hello? It is a complete ghost town. What it's a funny feeling. Place. It is funny. And it's hot. Not radioactive hot, no. just hot. But I mean, can you imagine? Because imagine coming out of your house as all those people did. But this is just isn't, to watch the fireworks display. Yeah, but they didn't. This, this, these were not the houses that they came out of. This is just the campus that has been built around the scientists. Right, right. right. All this stuff, like, just left. This trailer thing here, look. It looks like it's armoured or something. So it was probably wheeled into the middle of a site and it all looked through this little window. But it's not completely deserted. There's a museum here, headed by Sergei Lukashenko, a leading nuclear chemist. He's very proud of his museum. He's positively glowing. The site and is it safe to live here or no? Exactly. Yes. <laughs> very, very curious. And the, and the... Off the bomb would there be cables from here? Yes. All the way to the tower? Yes. yes. And then... Yes. And it would be instant. Instant. The sound. But you see the okay. sound. You see the sound. It's rock from the epicenter of nuclear explosion. That's right from ground zero. Yes. yes. It's That's from it. epicenter. And how long will that be radioactive for? Forever? Uh, it depends on radionuclides, but for, for you it's forever. <laughs> so that forever. is contaminated forever? Yes, forever.